let's create an array of static data. In this tutorial, we will work on the data for the cards. This data contains all of the content of the cards in one file for our SwiftUI app. As usual, go to the File top menu. Choose New, New File, Menu Item. In the next panel, under the iOS tab, choose Swift file type from the provided templates. Give this file a card data name and save it by clicking on the Create button. Xcode will open this file immediately. Replace the foundation framework with SwiftUI and import it. The next step is to place a comment section for the card data. Let's create a card data data type with an array of cards. We are going to code manually the first card, then we will use our data file from the resources folder. Enter card, then wait a second. After then, the Xcode auto-completion will show us a hint about the card structure. Choose the one starting with the title and press the Enter key. As you see, the code Auto-completion gave us all of the necessary variables so we don't need to remember them from the head. The title is Swift UI. The headline is Better Apps, Less Code. The name of the image file is Developer Number 1. The Call to Action button text is Design. The alert message is Introducing a modern way to design user interfaces for any Apple devices. Lastly, but not least, the gradient colors are Color Color 1 Color Color 2 Finishing with all of that, you will see that this is a long, long line and it's quite hard to read it. That's why it's a good coding practice to wrap each variable into a new line like this. Title Headline Image name Call to action message and finally the gradient colors see our swift code is more digestible now it's time to speed up the process and use our data file from the resources folder go to the desktop and open the resources folder you will see another folder named data in it open it too there is a card data simple text file. Open it with the text editor app by clicking on the file name twice. As you see, this is the whole cards content including the first one as well. Now, you need to select the text from the beginning of the second card all the way down to the last card. When you are done, copy the selected text to the clipboard and close the file and the finder window. We don't need them anymore. Paste the text after the comma of the first card data. Congratulations! You have just created the card data for our SwiftUI app.